at the Hill of Forgiveness. Alto de Perdón. On our way to Puente Lorena. And that's Pamplona in the distance. It's a very steep climb. Difficult, difficult climb up here. Part of this uh, Hill of Forgiveness has to do with the Spanish Civil War, where people in this area were um, killed during that war. Memorial to them. Yes. So I wanted to update all of you that have sent your prayers to us. I'm praying here. This is a real special place to pilgrims. Um, asking forgiveness, receiving forgiveness as they contemplate their lives. And uh, so I'm especially praying for all of those who have asked for um, relationships to be restored, reconciled, and anything to do with forgiveness. Just praying that for everyone today. Okay, God bless. Okay, we're just getting ready to go down the other side of Alto de Perdón, the Hill of Forgiveness. And it's a beautiful landscape. Deep rocky path. Beautiful landscapes on the descent from Alta de Perdón. Very rocky. So, this is what it looks like when you're trying to find your. Amidst all these, all this rockiness and this downward grade. In, in a lot of places along the Camino, you see these little stone towers, and they're called prayer cairns where people have put a prayer, put a stone to represent a prayer kind of like lighting a candle in a church is what I compare it to. But here are some just along the path. So we still have a ways to go on this rocky trail, but there's a little opening here for the first time since we started walking down that shows some of the rolling country with wheat fields that have been harvested or some some sort of crop. Okay, that cyclist has just come down <laughs> the hill of forgiveness. Whoa, respect. You can see way over there evidence of one of the wildfires they've had this year so far it's been very dry and people have told us that they have had quite a few of those fires they're hoping and praying for rain Gorgeous country here. Gorgeous, gorgeous country. We found a little spot to sit down and have a snack. Buen Camino. Buen Camino. Here we are in Uterga. There's some water pit. Okay, this is great. This is new since we were last here. 
you can have your coffee and you can get a knee brace, compete for blisters, toothbrushes, you name it, ace bandages out of a vending machine. Very handy to help pilgrims. Coming into the next town. This is really neat the way they've done the road here. But what's so sad is just the devastation to this area from the fires. This church was interesting. It has a buttresses on the sides to help with the construction of it. We see all these huge fields of sunflowers that are now ready, more than ready for harvest, I think. All the way, all the way back up there and that would have been gorgeous when they were in bloom or olive grove i'm not sure <laughs> which one it is it's got some tiny little green olives on it but it's a real pretty well tended place right next to the olives here's a little vineyard and has some beautiful grapes hiding under the leaves. Puente La Reina on Calle Mayor looking for the place where we're staying tonight. It's a neat street. This is the statue of St. James. This is the Church of Santiago, St. James. It's the first statue we've seen in a church that we've been into of St. James.